Uh, good morning, students. The topic for today is the integrated fish farming systems. First of all, let us understand what is the meaning of integrated farming system. Integrated means, as we understand that, the word integrated means the combination, the, uh, the combining of one or two or more type of farming systems. We all know that we have so many kinds of different farming systems, like the crop farming systems, the horticulture farming systems, uh, even the livestock farming systems, they all are covered under the farming system scenario. And uh, the fish farming system, I can say, is uh, that kind of farming system which can be combined with all of these different kind of farming systems to form an integrated fish livestock farming systems. So we were talking about the integrated fish farming systems. Uh, the principle behind, let us understand first, what is the principle behind the integrated farming. The integrated farming, as I told you already, that when we integrate or combine two or more type of farming systems, they should be complementary to each other. They should uh, be like uh, useful to each other, or at least they should not harm or interfere in the other kind of farming systems. And also is that uh, the waste or the byproduct of one kind of farming system can be utilized efficiently with uh, the other uh, type of system. The uh, nutrient cycling or the waste recycling is also an important principle behind this integrated farming approach. So uh, in light of the, all these, we can say that integrated fish farming systems are such kind of farming systems which are overall uh, fulfilling the basic concept or the principle of this integrated farming. So uh, the integrated fish farming system can be of many types, like integrated fish come um, livestock farming system. In fa uh, livestock, we can include the poultry, the duck, or uh, the pigs, or the cattle. Similarly, the fish farming can also be integrated with uh, crops. In crops, we can take horticultural crops also, like uh, the vegetables or the fruits, like the papaya, the banana. And we can also integrate it with rice farming systems also. So uh, as we know that water is needed for all kind of farming, whatever we are doing, whether it is horticulture crops, it is the uh, food grain crops, or even the livestock. Water is needed for everything we do. So fish, because it's, uh, it is reared, it is farmed inside the pond water, it can be integrated with uh, many systems. For example, if we talk about the duckfish farming systems. So in duckfish farming systems, some varieties of duck which, are, uh, which have been uh, found to be very good uh, while we integrate it with fish are like uh, the khaki campbell or the desi varieties can also be included. The chicken or the duck house can be erected uh, directly on the pond or it can be erected on the embankment. One side of the uh, this bamboo house for the chicken or the duck can be on uh, the embankment of the pond and the other side can be uh, supported inside the pond. So this way uh, the ducks can be kept inside the um, the structure which we make for the ducks can be inside in the night and during the daytime we can let them out in the pond. Similarly, the chicken can also be kept in this type of simple, very uh, less expansive kind of uh, structures which can be made by split bamboos also. So the chicken uh, also, they, whatever they litter, the excreta, the fecal matter of the chicken or the duck which goes into, inside the pond has such lot of nutrients which uh, the cut the cost of production of uh, fish production approximately by 50% to 60% because the excreta of these birds is very rich in nutrients and the plankton production which is the natural food of fish it is, it is increased many folds and therefore we do not need to uh, give any artificial feed from outside we also use when we talk about the fish farming so when we do it scientifically, we also uh, put some input in the form of organic manure or 
uh, this uh, inorganic fertilizers to just to increase the productivity of the pond, soil, and water. But when we are doing integrated fish farming with the duck or chicken or any other livestock, we don't need to put uh, other input in this pond. The, the natural fish food is produced so much in the pond that there is very good fish growth. The fish production in this type of systems is very good. So in this way, we can uh, do the integrated fish farming uh, with duck or the chicken. Similarly, we can also integrate uh, this fish farming with the, the pigs. So pig come fish fa uh, livestock farming, it is known as uh, that. So the pig styes uh, can be made on the embankment of the pond, on the side of the ponds. The pigs can be kept there and the excreta, the manure they produce, that can be directed into the ponds through channels and uh, w one or two or three pigs are very much sufficient for uh, a large pond because again, the manure or the excreta they produced is, has very good nutrients in it. Many studies have been done to analyze this, um, the nutrient status of the excreta of different animals. So pig styes can be erected, the washings and the uh, manure, etc. they can be directly channeled into the ponds. And again, which leads to a very good fish production without uh, the cost of uh, artificial feed or manures or inorganic fertilizers and so on. This is also a very good practice and uh, there is a good market for uh, chicken, ducks and pigs also. Uh, similarly with the cattle also, the farmers uh, in generally we see, particularly in northern India, uh, the farmers have uh, one or two uh, cattle in their um, house. So they can be the, the dung of this manure, uh, cattle can be very easily put into the pond. Either they can be kept separately also, or the cow shed, or etc., or their place can be erected near the ponds. And the direct channels can take all this excreta, the washings, etc., into the pond. So cattle also uh, can be very uh, nicely integrated with fish farming. If we talk about the integration of fish with the, the crops, so uh, integration of crops can be done in uh, many ways. For example, if we take horticultural uh, plants, like we have papaya, we have banana. So on the uh, side of the ponds, we can easily plant these uh, trees. And uh, once they grow up, they can produce fruit. The water from uh, the pond can be used uh, to irrigate these plants. And also, uh, sometimes we, when we prepare the ponds for the next uh, cycle of fish rearing, we take out, if, if at all, the ponds in the bottom, they have a uh, um, lot of organic manure. So we can take out that uh, manure from the ponds and we can uh, use it as a fertilizer in horticultural crops also. Similarly, we can also take uh, this uh, medicinal plants medicinal plants or the horticulture plants or which, which are like uh, uh, cucurbitaceae family, which can grow in length. So uh, we can plant these plants on the sides also, sides of the plant, uh, of the pond, and also on the embankments uh, because these need a lot of moisture. And the pond embankments or the sides of the pond or the area near the pond has a lot of moisture. So we, we uh, save our space, we save our uh, water also, and simultaneously we can get the produce from horticulture crops or from the medicinal plants and also the fish. Uh, similarly, uh, in uh, crops, in food grains, rice can also be integrated with fish. For example, the tall varieties of uh, rice, which, which uh, need a good amount of water, if at all, uh, there is water nearby, we, the water can stand and the varieties of fish which can grow in less amount of water can be integrated with la rice farming or in low lying areas. If we can do rice farming, we can also uh, make a trench in that to uh, keep fish in between. For example, we have a um, pond or a uh, low lying area, we can make a pond there and make a 
a trench in between the pond and fish can be uh, kept there and rice on all other sides, all four sides of the trench. In this way, we can uh, do the rice fish farming also. And integrated fish farming is being, in, is being done by many farmers in UP, in Punjab, in Uttarakhand, in Assam, West Bengal as well. So uh, it is, it is a very profitable uh, thing. And uh, one more thing is that integrated fish farming uh, systems are very sustainable. And uh, we already discussed that it, nutrients recycling can be done. The manures, the excreta, everything nutrients produced by one system can be very efficiently used to produce muscle mass in fish. Uh, to, uh, and we get very good uh, fish production in this kind of systems. Also, uh, the, uh, we can get uh, all the year round income from uh, this type of farming systems. For example, if you are integrating fish with uh, uh, livestock like chicken, duck or uh, other things, we can get eggs, we can get uh, um, chicken or duck meat, we can get fish and all this can be um, earnings can be made all the year round. So in this way, we can say that integrated farming systems, particularly if fish is integrated with them, are very productive, beneficial, and uh, rewarding for uh, farmers and other entrepreneurs. Thank you.